in Bangladesh, everything is negotiable on price. Um, what we find is we have a two different price structures. So we have a, a higher price structure in a medium or a high income area, or certainly if it's an industrial business. And then we have a much lower price um, with for low income areas. So there's a, a differential pricing structure. Mm. Um, and what the way we regulate that is within the contract there is a target percentage so 30 percent of the customers need to come from a low-income community and um we've priced that, so we have, that okay so that's regulated by the city authority um they receive all of the um, the business details from the tanker operator they see where the customers are because there's, we're beginning to build this um, kind of a toilet database, so um, uh, or a tank database, septic tank database. So that what's happening is we had to define what we said was a low income community, um, and whether we did well, we did quite a lot of research on whether we do that by tank size or by tank um, different different um, uh, variables. In the in essence, we came down to doing it purely by geographical location. So thirty percent of the thirty percent of the customers have to be from a low income community, and there's a fine base on that. So there's a it's a commercial driver for the operator. Mm. Um, we did quite a lot of financial modelling to to show what kind of profit margins the um, tanker operator could have, um, still working at that thirty percent um, basis. And in the low income communities, the prices. Um, slightly more than the uh, manual emptier, but it's actually quite, um, it's a very nominal addition. Okay. And it's about, I'd say there's a, probably about a 50% difference. So it's okay. uh, about a 50% increment up in a, low, in a higher income area. It was really interesting working with the city authorities to work through what their financial structures could be and how they could accept a lease type agreement because they were, um, initially quite reserved about working with the private sector so it was interesting to work with them at our latest so we had different pricing points as well for the lease so we were looking at a repayment type basis um, we are not yet at a place where they are ring fencing the money because we, we thought if they could ring fence the money then they could purchase a new vacuum tanker after five to seven years mm. um, so that's something that we're also working on so looking forward we've also been talking to them a little bit about a performance-based contract so if we set different targets for the private entrepreneur um, both about the amount of fecal sludge and the amount of low-income customers um, would we be able to um, have a um, have a different pricing structure so that if if they didn't serve any low income customers it would be purely on a repayment type basis mm -hmm. but if they served multiple low income customers in essence there would be a lower lease rate um, because they would the um, entrepreneur would be providing a public service so we're still in that type of discussion we haven't got to a place where we can start that performance type contract right. but it's an interesting place to be to set our sights on and to be moving towards, I think. When we were targeting entrepreneurs, we were having a lot of difficulty finding entrepreneurs who had a, either sufficient um, business understanding and business background, or who had an understanding of what is what is in effect a, a distribution process, a logistics process as well. Um, in DACA, we worked with somebody who was actually in the cleaning business already and they were cleaning offices so we were able to cross sell what we were able to i suppose to propose to them that it was an opportunity to cross sell their product they could be cleaning offices and at the same time they could be offering the emptying of the tankers the tanks as well mm. um, so finding the right entrepreneur was very difficult um, mm. at the initial stages um, but bringing them on board and actually providing it being a visible um, a visible business that was making a profit and it received quite a lot of uh, um, quite a lot of publicity has really helped stir people's interest I think in the longer time just looking forwards perhaps um, there there's certainly the opportunity for for um, entrepreneurs now to begin to invest and that's because of the clarity of the mandate uh, okay. within the uh, government as well